not really like, oh, I get my glass of milk out of the fridge and it's bad. You know, that's got a smell to it too, but this is just like a real rotten. There is something that stinks in Beaver County tonight and people are fed up. You wouldn't know it by just looking at it here, but this red sea here of chunky liquid, well, that's oh, rotten milk. Yeah, <laughs> oh man, I don't want to look at that. A month long investigation by new specialist Shara Park uncovered a problem in Beaver County that if not addressed, could lead to a toxic situation. I live next to my dad. For 40 years. My mom lives behind us. Dustin Cooney and his family have lived about four miles west of I-15 in Beaver in the community of Greenville. My family's lived here since 1982. We've had all these lots. Across from Cooney's property is a hill. This is called the Way Hill, and everybody in town calls it that. For decades, that hill was a dumping site for whey, a liquid derived from cheese often used as fertilizer. But at some point, trucks began dumping milk. Full tankers coming out here. Lots and lots of milk. They come out here from five and five in the morning till noon, they're dumping this. For months, Cooney has documented the milk dumping, concerned about where it's going. There's been days you can literally see a river. Of milk yes. Running. To find out, we flew our KSL TV drone over the property. And this is what we discovered. A large man-made basin filled with rotting milk and the chunky stuff, algal blooms. How is this legal in this day and age? I'm standing out here on the edge of the property and the smell is just awful. Rotten milk baking in the sun, it's putrid. But the residents are worried about more than just the smell out here. They're worried about what is in this retention pond and is it seeping into their groundwater? It's all I know, I, I, I don't know anything else. This is where my family is. So who owns the property and who's dumping the milk? We dug into county records and found the land belongs to Dairy Farmers of America, the company that owns the popular creamery just off of I-15. But like Cooney said, are their actions legal? That's where this gets complicated. I think it was probably just a misunderstanding. Up until 2018, the company had a fertilizer license from the Utah Department of Agriculture, allowing them to incorporate the way into the land. But then their operations changed to dumping milk. Permits were evaluated and it was determined that because they were not selling fertilizer from their place, that they did not need that particular permit. The Department of Agriculture says the company should have applied for a groundwater discharge permit from the Utah Department of Water Quality. When we asked if they did that and had one? No, they don't. John Mackey is the director of the agency. He says an investigation into the dump site revealed a history of organic waste disposal dating back to the 1970s. And this milk pond doesn't have a liner or monitoring system, which is required for the permit. It's been a, a historic operation, so it's quite possible that um, this water has reached groundwater. We need to know lots of things about the groundwater itself. My concern is that if they don't do something to remediate this, how long is it gonna to take to get into the water aquifer and how far is it gonna travel before it gets to us? Right now, the number one concern for Greenville residents is their health and safety. So we took their concerns to a soil specialist at Utah State University. They call me affectionately the dirt doctor. Greg Cardin says any stockpiled decomposing organic material will release nutrients, but milk contains a lot of fat and proteins. And so when that material uh, is decomposed over time, it releases those constituent nutrients. Uh, nitrogen being probably, in my mind, one of the most concerning. Cardin says if nitrogen leaches into the soil and reaches groundwater, Beaver County could have a big problem. Deep through the soil and, and, and in contact with groundwater, if that were to happen, nitrate becomes a, a, a livestock and, and a human drinking water concern. It can alter um, the ability of the blood, for instance, to carry oxygen and those kinds of things. Cardin says dairy farmers have been dumping organic waste on soil for generations. But while communities grow and development spreads, Farmers have to keep up with safety and regulation. Those would be the things I would be, you know, uh, concerned about watching for and monitoring for in a situation like this long. I'm just wondering when they're coming to check this out. In a statement, Dairy Farmers of America acknowledged the increase in milk dumping in Beaver County, saying they appreciate the concerns brought to their attention and they'll work with the state to ensure they're following regulation. 
Bakuni wants to know why the company initially ignored his concerns. We've called and complained and everything. Cooney and his neighbors worry Dairy Farmers of America has put their safety at risk. It's more about making sure that this ain't going to get into my groundwater. And they want testing done immediately to see if the soil is contaminated. I want some remediation answers. I'm not going to say, well, we can look into it and see exact blah, blah, blah. No, I want our detailed plan. Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go up and drill and see how far we have to go. The Utah Division of Environmental Quality issued this warning letter to Dairy Farmers of America. They have 90 days to apply for a groundwater discharge permit and during that time, test the soil to determine if there is groundwater contamination. If there is, they have 24 hours to report it and then 30 days to put a plan into place to fix it. If they don't, they could face legal action by the state. Guys, 